Greetings, Quantum Observers. I am the coder in the program, um, and I welcome you. Uh, this is an introduction or overview of uh, what I plan on accomplishing in, in this uh, tutorial series on in-game scripting for space engineers. Uh, I'm just going to give you a heads up. I, I don't want to do a C sharp tutorial. There's a plenty of C sharp tutorials out there, and uh, and I'll be honest, uh, they're probably much better than what I would be able to teach C sharp. I want to just teach how to use malware's API, um, which I will show you right now. Um, at, this site uh, to uh, gain access to every block uh, and all the functions within all of the blocks and show you how how to manipulate your space engineers world uh, however however you see fit um, so uh, the site right here I'm going to leave this in the description uh, this uh, file here is for if you want to use Visual Studio um, and uh, what that will allow you to do is have IntelliSense for uh, all the blocks and it, it'll like as you're typing it it will um, pretty much give you everything that you can do within each block that's kinda nice um, and, and it'll also be able to debug um, debug your code before you put it into Space Engineers. I'm not going to use that. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Notepad++. Um, and so there's <laughs> there's probably going to be a lot of times where I don't see little errors like semicolons or missing braces or, or whatever. So I, I, I'm alright with that. <laughs> uh, space Engineers can tell me uh, can tell me where my problems are. Um, yeah, you can use any text editor really. Uh, it's just that the uh, you know, let me pull pull in a programming block real, real quick to show you. Uh, the uh, hell you can even use uh, Space Engineers in-game uh, text editor, but this to me is just ugly, just horrible. And uh, Notepad uh, is. Uh, a little bit easier on the eyes, especially when we have lines and lines and lines of code, hundreds of lines of code. Um, it, it gets really, uh, really cramped in this little editor, it seems. So, um, so uh, our our main hotkeys are going to be Control A, Control Z, Control C, Control V, uh, and. Uh, you'll, you'll see that I'm sure that will get old quick but um, again uh, I I just rather not have uh, also uh, to be honest I'm, I'm running on bare minimum uh, requirements for space engineers so I'm also going to have Firefox open and I, I don't think uh, having Visual Studio open also is, is going to do me any favors so I, I'm probably already going to run into a bunch of lag so if you can do or deal with that and uh, deal with the fact that I'm not actually a public speaker and you'll hear a lot of uhs and ums throughout the series, uh, then I think we'll be all right. And I uh, yeah, hope you guys learn a lot. Um, uh, what else do I want to go through? Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, so on this site, uh, if you go to Getting Started, uh, it throws in a tutorial on how to set all that up for you. Uh, again, I'm not going to go through all this stuff. Uh, you can you can do that on your own, getting uh, Visual Studio and, and all that stuff set up. Um, so uh, my plan is to create. Our, uh, uh, I may have mentioned it already. Uh, a wrapper around um, around space engineers coding. And the reason I want to do that is so that you can copy and paste this wrapper um, into any of your code, uh, and it'll give you a, a, a much 
much easier access to a lot of uh, to a lot of the functionality, I, I guess you could say, uh, without having some of the long long strings of code. And you'll you'll see that once once we get started uh, in the next episode. Um, Space Engineers has some some really long uh, long lines of code that uh, I just don't like typing over and over and over again. Um, so uh, I guess throughout this, uh, I'll show you how to gain uh, access to information like uh, uh, to let's see battery blocks. I have a few of those set up here. Um, some some battery blocks uh, so you can do some power management on LCD screens and show you how to throw buttons on the stuff and change screens and and uh, and that's going to be the first couple tutorials but uh, I totally intend on getting into um, like thruster manipulation and and how to do um, how to get autopilot to work a little bit better and I'll, I'll show you uh, show you some examples of where the uh, built-in autopilot just fails um, and I'll, I'll show you how to fix a lot of that stuff uh, so this is going to be this is going to be a long series I, I think um, and I, I think eventually we're, we're going to have some full-on programs to have auto miners and uh, and I know that there's a lot of that stuff already on the Steam Workshop um, but uh, it, it's much better that you know the code and you can go in and change things how you want um, uh, without having to understand somebody else's code. Uh, I, I always find that uh, that's a bit of a problem uh, for me anyway to uh, go into somebody else's code. It's like going into somebody else's messy room or, uh, or whatever and, and trying to sort through it all. Uh, and I think it'd be much better for everybody uh, if you actually know what what's act, what's going on, um, and make it easier for you guys to uh, to access and, and change things and customize stuff. So uh, that's that's the goal, and uh, I guess that uh, I guess that concludes the overview uh, and uh, we'll, we'll get started with some LCD manipulation and uh, get some timing timing down uh, for updating uh, I guess like before before I joined the community uh, which I've only been playing this for about uh, two weeks to a month something like that um, before that I, I guess they had timing blocks that had to um, every so often call uh, call uh, the the programming blocks to uh, do whatever they wanted to I, I guess since that point they updated to where they have update function uh, functionality uh, without timing blocks and uh, there's like three different settings that you can use it's like uh, every tick which is um, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll explore the, the, uh, each uh, uh, possible update frequency uh, in the next tutorial. Uh, but you don't really need to have things running as fast as what uh, as as fast as what uh, it initially starts out as. Um, and and we'll, we'll we'll get into that a little deeper uh, then. But uh, anyway. So that's that's about it for this video, and I uh, hope you are, uh, hope you jump into the next one, and uh, we'll get get started. Thanks.